Hi, my name is Gabriella Schneider and I'm the Communications Director here at the Sunlight Foundation. Lately, there's been a lot of news stories about super PACs and the presidential election. And as Election Day approaches, believe me, there'll be a lot more. Here at the Sunlight Foundation, we get a lot of questions about this new political reality, one that is pumping a lot of undisclosed, unlimited money into our elections. So we wanted to walk you through some super PAC basics, what they are, what they do, how they can alter campaigns, and why we think it's critically important to make them more transparent. Super PACs are a new kind of political action committee that came into existence as a result of two legal decisions in 2010. First, there was a Supreme Court Citizens United versus Federal Election Commission ruling, which made it easier for corporations and unions to directly influence elections by allowing them to make independent expenditures to advocate for or against candidates. Then a lower court decided in a ruling called Speech Now versus the FEC that there's no reason to limit the amount of money donors, any person, corporation, or union can give to these political action committees that we now call super PACs. Traditional PACs, which still exist, can only accept $5,000 from a person each year, which is then commonly given directly to the candidate. They are also prohibited from accepting money from a corporation or a union's treasury. A super PAC is free from these restrictions under two conditions. First, they must not give money directly to a candidate or to a PAC that contributes directly to candidates. And second, a super PAC can't coordinate how it spends its money with the candidate. But a super PAC can spend unlimited money on things like TV ads, phone banks, door-to-door -door canvassers, and other activities. In other words, a super PAC can act as a shadow campaign. Officially, a candidate can't have a super PAC, but there's no law saying a candidate can't have connections with these super PACs, and many super PACs are in fact run by former top aides of these candidates. And many candidates are encouraging people to give to their super PACs. Although a super PAC can't coordinate with the candidate how it spends its money, the FEC has been exceedingly lenient in defining coordination, as we saw with Stephen Colbert and John Stewart's satire. Now, candidates can headline fundraisers for the super PACs that are supporting them just as long as they don't directly ask for donations beyond the legal limits of their campaign committees. They can leave that to the super PAC. So, who can create and contribute to a super PAC? Almost any U.S. citizen or corporation. It's important to remember, though, that corporations, labor unions, and individuals don't need a super PAC to spend unlimited money on elections, provided they disclose it. They could spend their money directly on ads or other activities if they so chose. But donating to a super PAC makes it so much more convenient, as these committees have the political connections and the know-how already in place. So how do you know if a political action committee is a super PAC? Super PACs generally notify the FEC of their existence by sending a letter, but that's not mandatory. You can usually find this in the PAC's Statement of Organization on the FEC's website, or you can view all the letters at Sunlight's Follow the Unlimited Money website at reporting.sunlightfoundation.com forward slash outside hyphen spending. Like other political action committees, most super PACs must file regular financial disclosure forms with the FEC. Almost all super PACs report their donors every month. But that depends on what you mean by report. Some super PACs are the source of what we call dark money. That's contributions the super PACs get from social welfare nonprofits with a 501c4 tax status. These 501Cs can give unlimited amounts to super PACs, but they don't have to disclose their donors. And we're seeing that these kinds of nonprofits are being set up to serve as a channel for undisclosed donors to the super PACs. So I hope I have helped you see why we think there needs to be real-time, online disclosure of this new, often shadowy, unlimited political spending. You can read much more and get involved in our effort to shine the light on big money and politics on our website at sunlightfoundation.com. Thanks for tuning in.